Hi everybody, it's Dandruff with your bonus cartridge for Tuesday, October 2nd, 2018. Hi everybody, how's everybody doing? Uh, just a little heads up, this is going to be more about Elite Dangerous, so if you have no interest in the game, go click ahead to like the middle of it, because I'm going to change subjects and talk about Minecraft 2. So we're going to talk about the Elite Dangerous for about five minutes, probably, about, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, so, okay, so... Um, I tried to play a little bit today, and I tried because uh, my friend Yemto, uh, he's on the other side of the world, so basically the only time I ever have to play with him is during the middle of the day. And I uh, decided to hop on today, and we were doing some bounty hunting, which is, you know, it's really, really fun to do. Uh, oh, yeah, it is Pokemon Tuesday, by the way, but it, I really don't feel like doing the Pokemon stuff. Uh, I don't have any Pokemon related news that I want to talk about, so sorry, Pokemon fans. Uh, we're going to skip Pokemon Tuesday this week until we have some actual Pokemon news to talk about. And I'm pretty sure that when Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee comes out, we'll be talking about that. So, okay, let's get back to the late dangerous stuff. So, bounty hunting. Bounty hunting to try to make some money. My friend Yemto literally lost everything in, uh, 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 what, last weekend it was? Lost literally everything. Uh, had to restart his, his like, rebuilding everything from a Sidewinder. Sidewinder is the very first ship that you can get. And uh, had to go from the ground up. Um, he just didn't have his rebuy, his insurance went over, he wasn't able to, to repurchase his ship. Really, really sad and unfortunate, but that's just what happened, so... Um, we're trying to make him some money, and, uh, in the middle of bounty hunting, we come across a wanted anaconda. That's worth, oh, uh, I think it was worth 265,000 credits. So, yay, this is a really big payday. Well, while we were fighting it, uh, it sent out a little fighter guy, and I tried to shoot it down, but it was too fast and far away. So, I deselected the target, and I got a little bit confused. I was really excited, because this is a really big payday, and I end up shooting... A federal security vessel oh crap I shoot the federal security vessel they start going after me and they start going after Yemto Yemto gets out of there he didn't he didn't actually aggro them so I don't think he actually got shot but I I ended up with a bounty a 5200 credit bounty which really is not very much 5200 credits is like that's gas money that's not even like that's that's barely anything you can buy a candy bar with that pardon me so anyway, um, 5,200 credits, usually the, the way that you take care of a fine or a bounty is if you, you have to go to a penal colony. Basically, you go to prison, you pay your fine, and you're like, okay, I'm sorry, I won't do it again. It's fine. But I went to the pre penal colony uh, next to the, in, in the station, in the little quadrant of the galaxy that I've been flying around in, and I was not able to repay it. And I was like, okay, so it says I'm, it doesn't say that I'm wanted in this system. It just says that I'm wanted in the other system. Why don't I go back to the other system and uh, see what, see what I got to do to pay it off. So I go fly to, the, fly to my, um, uh, to the dock there. Um, and I can't have access to nearly anything at the station. It doesn't let me go to the outfittings. It doesn't let me. Um, like it lets me repair my ship, and it even lets me go claim my my combat bonds. My, my it, le it even lets me claim my bounties, which it's not like if you have a fine, it doesn't let you do until you pay off your fine. So this was acting weird. I wasn't sure what was up. I looked it up, and if you can't pay repay your fine, it's because you've gained something called notoriety. If you have a if you have anything higher than a zero notoriety so if it's one or more you can't pay your fine until it goes away okay how do you make it go away you spend time in game it goes down one every two hours so thankfully i only had to wait two hours because i only gained one notoriety but I was able to wait out. I, I, I just let, stayed at the station. It says, uh, from what I read online, it just says that you just need to stay docked at a station, logged into the game, and it'll eventually just tick away. It'll tick down, which it did that. Thankfully, I paid off my bounty, and then it took me to the screen where you rebuy your ship. And I was like, did I just blow up? Did I just die? What just happened here? Turns out that if you have a bounty and you turn yourself in, you still go to jail anyway, but you only paid the amount that you paid. You, I just paid the 5,200 credits. That was it. 
yada 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 transported me teleported me to a penal colony no big deal got back home and uh, everything's fine now so yay elite dangerous or as i'm now calling it scavenger hunt because that's what the game has turned into i have to go around looking for little crap picking it up just adding it to the overall inventory so that way i can gain the st a stockpile of stuff so i can keep upgrading my ship yay scavenger hunt elite dangerous <sighs> let's talk about minecraft 2 all right, so uh, I lied. I said it was going to take five minutes. It took six minutes to talk about Elite Dangerous. So Minecraft 2. I have long time considered the idea of Minecraft 2, of um, what it would be like. And actually, it's really refreshing, I think, to get, to get notice, to get notification that we're not going to get a Minecraft 2. I think this is for the better. I like the idea of spin-off Minecraft games that, you know, Telltale's the Mine uh, Telltale's Minecraft story mode. I guess you can consider it a spin-off, but it's not it's not Minecraft. It was just a Minecraft based uh, mine it was like Minecraft world and they took liberties with it. Um let's see how would I even describe that? It's like when you see a video game and then they make an anime based on that video game, or they make a, a TV show based on that video game, and, like, they take a lot of liberties. Um, what's a good example of one that didn't trans... Pokemon! Pokemon does not, like... The anime and the video game are completely different. They are so different. So, um, I think that's, that's more like what it was. Um, Minecraft is the game for Pokemon, and then the, the Minecraft story mode would be, like, the show. So, I, I think that was okay, but I really would like to see, like, what Minecraft Dungeons wants to do. I really do like, um, cave exploring in Minecraft, and it would be really cool if we had pre-made dungeons we could go through, explore, find loot, and do whatever. They said that it's not gonna be building, it's not really gonna have a focus on building at all. So it'll be, that'll be interesting, because that'll definitely give original Minecraft, or that won't take Minecraft's original purpose or anything away from it. You'll still be able to build Minecraft, and then you'll go exploring with Minecraft Dungeons and, and or other spin-offs. So, I really do think that this is a good idea. I think that this is, this is really great. Plus, it does mean that the original base Minecraft is going to keep getting updates, it's going to keep getting content until it's done. And who knows when that could be? That could be 20 years from now. And if that means that we bought the game one time and we keep getting all this amazing content, so be it. So be it. Let that be. It's great. I don't think that after Microsoft took over, I don't think it changed the game in any fundamental way that wasn't true to what it was previously, that wasn't where the game feels like it was going you know, the addition of pandas, I think that's going to be fine. I think that's a great idea. I love pandas. Pandas are great. Um, beyond that, I don't know what else is going to be in any, in any new updates. I saw pandas, but that was it. There's, they're probably going to put in more than that, obviously. But the aquatic update is great. 9 out of 10, great, like, uh, in terms of quality. Tons of new content in. Tons of new stuff. Just... Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm definitely okay with no Minecraft 2, so long as they keep putting more stuff in original Minecraft. That's fine. Social media links are over here, everybody. Thanks so much for watching my show. Hit the like button if you liked it. Hit the dislike button if you didn't. But either way, it helps me out. We got your Twitch. We got your Twitter. We got your Facebook. We got your Patreon. Patreon, of course, is the best link because you can go help support the channel. Click up here to watch today's full episode. Click down here to watch yesterday's episode. Both of those links are in the description down below. And click over here to subscribe to my wonderful, wonderful channel. That all feels like one sentence now. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow.